Yeah, man, we're here and we're healthy. Yes, sir. And yeah, I'm blessed. And I know you boys are too. Yes, sir. You guys have known each other for a long time and you've come a long way. And now y'all are doing a uh, a project together. And I got to know the, 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 the name of the album, but first let's talk about the single. It's called My Friends. Yeah. Um, Lil Durk is on the song. Yeah. Produced by Me. Mustard. Ty. Ty is definitely Okay. Producing. There it is. And Nick Knack is on the song. FNZ. FNZ. Oh, Nick Knack is on this song? Yeah. I've been working know. a lot with Nick Knack lately. I, I, I think something's just, we just been connecting, clicking. Shout out so, Nick Knack, man. Yeah. Always been a legend. Yeah, Nick How did this, um, I mean, I know for a long time you guys have probably talked about doing something like this. How did this finally come about? Mm, I think it was just time. It's just overdue we always, is the yeah, term yeah. I'm looking for. I would yeah. just say timing is everything, and we yeah. finally, uh, our schedules permitted it, and we just locked in yeah. and went crazy. And speaking of your schedule, so t- before we get into talking about this album and, and some of the features and 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 – and all that. What have you guys been up to? I know you were in Dallas recently uh, because my daughter saw you, I think it, I think she said, at Bottle Blonde. Yeah, man. She uh-huh. said, tell Ty, I said, what's up? Um, That's what's up. My, what my, up? my daughter is, uh, she went to school for film and she that's does tight. photography, so she's always, she's always uh, yeah, that's tight. snapping shots and out hustling. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's you've been, up. you've been, you've been traveling, doing shows. What's going on, Mus? I've been, um, in the studio, and I just been playing tennis every day, and counting and, up. You taking care see, of my kids. You don't want to see me on the tennis court. I'm gonna keep it real. You know what? I just left right now, and it's one not far from here. So whenever really? you're ready, oh, we can go, bud. It it's not like a too challenge. far from here, and I have my stuff in the trunk. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I I actually do have two rackets in my trunk. I That's got an funny. extra one for you. Okay. So All right. I've well, been I've been on that lately and finishing my album. Still working on this one. Still, we are gonna work to the to the end, obviously. And um, just being a dad. How deep are you guys into the to the album? We're we're basically uh-huh. done. We just like at this point, it's just like finishing whatever we catch. If okay. we want to change, so you're in the mix but, process, final mix. Yeah, catching like, all the little we're stuff. super like yes, close. Gotcha. Yeah. So, my friends with Lil Dirt, yeah. Nick Knack. How did this song? That, how did y'all choose this song? Was it one of the first songs y'all recorded? Was it just the first one y'all decided to go with as the single? It might have been the last song. Yeah. Or one of the last. That songs. seems had to be what happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. It it was one, one of the last. latest ones for sure. Yeah, the homies uh, F and Z gave me this idea with the horns, and then we added more horns. My pops actually played on the song too, so shout uh-huh. out to pops. Then I shout out to shout Muslim. to Lakeside. Yeah, yeah I know about. Sure. We've talked about yeah. this before. Yeah, pop pops, and I want you to break that down a little bit because for everybody who might not know the history of pops. Yeah, so my pops was in this group called Lakeside. He played for many. Uh, bands but these uh this is like one of them uh people that he locked in with the most and they call lakeside they out of ohio and um they have many hits uh and fantastic r- boys rest in peace coolio who yeah who rest in peace that. coolio who sampled that and uh pops got a little lo- got a little something off that so that's, course, cool. that's cool that song was huge yeah. yeah the original and and coolio's and yeah. they still play it to this day in, in certain parties is so, the whole band still together, all the Lakeside? Yeah, some of them are together for sure. That's crazy. And, and does Pop still stay busy? Uh, I don't know if he's still been playing with them, but uh, yeah, he's but busy the, for sure. He's gotcha. always like somewhere playing. Gotcha. I mean, he got he can get to play on the Sun stuff. That's even better. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. To that's me, dope. Yeah. And then we shot it to Mustard, and he went crazy. Yeah. And then I called Nick Knight. Well, me and Nick Knight was already in the room working on stuff, and we just worked hand in hand, and it was just like, you know, yeah. Yep. Then, uh, of course, Lil Durk, uh, he sent back the verse ASAP, and uh, we went crazy. We just shot the video the other day. Yeah. It's looking good. So when when you guys do a song, do y'all share the same kind of interest when it comes to, I guess my question is, how do you decide, like, who who you going to put on the song? Um, uh, just who fits. I think he took lead on the Dirk. I think it's one. like frequency for me. Yeah. It's like who sounds good. It's just like... As far as producing the beat, like what instrument would sound good on the song? If yeah. it's like horns, 
what drums would sound good with right, him. That's right. how he picks his 808, how he picks yeah. his, you know, his clap or whatever he uses, and that's how I, I feel with the. And speaking of drums, artists. I, I want to give people a little bit of inside or insight, I should say, as to you guys' relationship and how close you guys are v- through music. Yeah. You gave him his first uh, drum kit. Yeah. First, I still use it. To the first day. 808 Same. drums. The first all my sounds, not like 808 drums. I, I want to be specific, specific, but. All of my drums that I always use forever is the same drums I did every beat I ever did on. So the snap, the uh, 808 from Who Do You Love to to every song, every one. It's not even like, I can't even like, I'd I'd sound crazy if I would say it was not on every song I ever produced. And they all bang. Yeah. (laughs) Crazy. and, And when I first found, I mean, I've known about that that for years yeah and it's just amazing to me you, shout you, out to everybody that ever gave me sounds too because it's been a collective he probably gave me all the sounds that everybody like like i had a cheat code because he was already producing so when i told him i was like i want to produce and stuff he had just gave me this photo that he had collected and i'm sure it sounds in there that he made or whatever too but like so i kind of got like an advantage i don't even know if they was doing drum kits back then for other people so I, I had like everything. So this this my, it was your yeah it was your personal library of drums. Yeah, I just gave him the whole yeah. folder yeah. for sure, the whole yeah. drive. As you should. And it's one of those things. You know, I've never understood why producers. A lot of producers are like, nah, man, it's my sound because they can't do what you can do right. with exactly. those sounds. Yeah, I always. But tell in this case, that. Mustard did a whole bunch of stuff that you couldn't do. It was just yeah. you know everybody does different things. I remember I pulled up on him. Do you remember? I think he was talking about that. I the pulled up on him, verse. and he told me about this the other day. And I was just like, I'm gonna really be like a big producer. And he was like, I believe you. I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about, but I knew I I wanted to be a producer. He, he had, also like, said, I'm about to pass you up. <laughs> I think, yeah, I probably was talking shit like that. Said he was definitely like talking shit. And, and yeah, I, I, that was like a <laughs> a thing because I was just like, man, like I will always tell him because, you know, Ty is like super musical. Like he can play every instrument. I can't play every instrument. I know like from DJing, it's like, okay, I like this. I can play what I want to hear here. And then I started learning as I went or grew. It was like, oh, you can you can have this and this and this this uh musician come and play this and play that and play this, and then I would start beats and then I would just build them up. Or I would call Ty and be like, can you do this or how does this work or connect me with somebody that you know does this and yeah. You just gotta know how to put it together and yeah. have good taste. Right. So that's what I could say, bro. Has for sure. And, the, you know, the music has obviously kept you guys tight over the years. Um, you both have done your own thing. Now you're together doing this album. What did, Have we talked about what? Did I ask you the name of the album? I don't know that we can give you that. Really that. I don't know. I think this is a good time. We can announce, I don't mind if I you I think it's a it. good time, but I don't want to be time in yet. trouble. Not, yeah. not yet. Not yet. give it up friends. yet. We're going to holler at you first. Yeah. Though, Wait, you know I'll give it to you first. So, okay. I'll okay. hold you to that. Sounds like. What does it sound like? Yeah, sure. What does I mean, what? you said it, not me. I mean, what does it sound like? It sounds I'm, I'm like Ty <laughs> and Mustard at um, its highest level. Can, can right. we talk about features? Yeah. No? Can we talk on the album? Uh, feature Jeez. Ty Dolla Sign. And Mustard. You know we can't saying? talk about some features? <clears throat> little Dirk on it. <clears throat> can we get, can we get, give, give us, give us one, like, mega feature. Mega? I think every feature is mega. Okay, that's a good answer. I think every feature is mega. Answer. Come on, give it. Give I know it's some. I know it's some people that that you would 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 expect, and some people that you wouldn't expect. Okay, I like think. give us give us one that we wouldn't. It's expect. a crazy dude on there. Uh, it's Ty Dad. He's like <laughs> incredible. We already talked about. <laughs> oh man, what part? <laughs> I, I missed that part. Oh, yeah. So what what was the what was um this process? And it's funny because I'm working on a show yeah. that. And I'm, and I hopefully you guys will be on the show one day. And it's basically a show that that showcases producers and writers and how they that's hard. their process. Yeah. So so uh, people need to see that. I'm not going to tell you the name of the show because you, you guys won't tell me. The name of that. <laughs> that's a good one, Phil. But, that's um, a great that's a great concept. But yeah, it's basically I'll put it in generic form. It's like let's make a song is what yeah. what it's about. And you know, I, it's me in the studio with producers and writers yeah. and show showcasing and showing how they produce and their their you know 
every every little this not the secrets, but you know what I mean, like how it's you hard. get down. <clears throat> yeah, people um, need to see that. <clears throat> but what get, give a, an example of when you're typically working on a song together? Is it is it Mustard's beat? He gives it to you. You write lyrics. You record lyrics, and y'all take it from there. Uh, that's one of the processes. That's one. It's sure. like many. It's like so many processes. Sometimes I send an email or text this beat. He'll do that. Sometimes just he'll come with a whole idea to me, like put a my beat friend and do this. You know, or put a whole do, song. do your drums yeah. to this. The the easiest part about this is that working with Ty is he like a producer? Well, he's a producer as well. So it ain't. I don't have so much on me. I'm like, I get to just do like. I'll do drums here on something. I may have come with a whole idea. It's not just one person working. Or as far as like, I'm not producing everything solely, and that part of it is like takes a little bit off of me because it's like, I, no, not not one producer can just produce all damn day and try to be doing everything else outside of that as well. So it's kind of like takes like an easier load than like doing anything else. I think that's why it was so easy to like. It wasn't easy to make this album, but <clears throat> it was easier to make this album because he already knew. And I already knew, like, I can give him the bare minimum beat and he can just, he was going to take it to where he needed to take it and make it musical. And then I could strip it or however I want to, you know. I see. Thing, yeah. And uh, did y'all have ahead of time already some type of vibe or theme that you wanted to kind of stick to? Or did y'all just kind of say, hey, whatever happens when we get together, that's what it's going to be? I think a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. We had in our heads what we wanted to do, and then once the beat started coming, it might take you in a different direction, but the uh, the finished uh, product is about to be crazy. It is crazy. I can't yeah. wait till y'all hear it, though. I definitely want to jump in, like, the R&B bag, because mm. I think a lot of my stuff is, like, the ratchet. I mean, I've done, obviously, Ella and stuff like that, but I don't think it's that many singers that could sing like Ty and, like, really go in it, like, do that. And I can do it with to have, like, a lot of control, too. So I think that was like a lot of where I was coming from with like the R and B side of things. And I'm I'm always excited to hear your 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 R and B side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, and the LMA stuff, man. Thanks. I know she's on the album. Am I, am I gonna get the answer to that? I could tell he's smiling. LMA's on the album. That was funny. I got one out of him. <laughs> that was a real good one. That was a very that, good that one. Was, <laughs> thank very you guys. Good job. Thank you. Um, ESPN. Yeah. What's going on with ESPN? So we did uh, the ESPN NBA version of this song. Shout out to everybody over there. And uh, it's going to be playing the whole year for the season, with, you know, every time they play. So so this will be the opener? It's so. just going to be every time you see a game on ESPN. <laughs> nice. It's going to be every time. Nice. <laughs> right. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. How did that, how did that come about? We have great teams. Yeah. I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. um, and we made a great song, of course. You've done so much. You work with so many people. You have as well. Give a couple of artists, and 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 it, you don't have to tell whether they're on this album or not. Uh, but it's the infamous question: like, who have you yet to work with that you really, really want to work with? Mm. Mine's Hove. Mm. Beyonce. Yeah. That's probably like I, who have who I, I wanna work with Lil Baby, I haven't worked with him yet. And uh, uh Baby King. I wanna do an actual beat with Dr. Dre. Like do it with him. You better get on that Snoop album. Yeah. Did y'all hear what did y'all 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 heard what they're calling the album? Yeah, they're crazy. Uh, Missionary. <laughs> Because doggy the original style, was baby. doggy style. Yeah. So uh, you see what they did there. Yeah. yeah. Doggy style. They're crazy. Missionary. Yeah. Very, very, very uh genius thinking. Yeah. There, shout to Snoop. I mean, we can't wait for that. Shout to Dr. Dre. Yeah. And I'm wondering if um, if they're doing, I'm sure Dre, and they, I'm telling you, man, that's the one to get on, bro. Yeah. And when you get on that, give me a call. Word. Because <laughs> <Give me laughs> <call laughs> I want to be in that I session. Wanna, I definitely want to hear it. I have you ever it. done, have y'all ever done a session? You've done a session with Dre, right? Yeah. I always talk to him. I've never done like a session with him. I've been in the studio with him. We've never done anything, though. Fred Rack called me. Um, this was the end of 20 it was during covid uh during it was the end of 2021 20, or 2022 it's been about a year i get a call from fred Reck and he's like fell do you have a minute um somebody wants to talk to you and i'm like yeah and he goes it's dre and i'm like i already said yeah, yeah <laughs> like i was gonna be like well if it's dre now nah, yeah, yeah, right, right. but he put me on the phone with dre and it was a uh 
a very interesting experience right that what you have man? dr dre asking about what do you think about this song Word. yeah and i don't i don't want to get too much into that but it was yeah. it was surreal and i couldn't believe it i was like dr dre you know what's crazy can, that like I, I i've had something like that happen well not something like that i had that happen as well like he texted me and was like what do you think about this song and i was like you asking me what i think that just shows what his do genius you think? man you know like because you guys saying. are the guys that play the yeah. records for everyone yeah. so we know that you know like yeah. he but that man i mean That's i appreciate crazy. that me but too, yeah. boy i was i remember hanging up on that call yeah, I'm being that guy right now. I don't give a damn. Yeah. It was Dr. Dre. <laughs> yeah. I remember, hey, and people ask me all the time, like, "You live in L.A., man? What if it you was know? weak, though? Would, would you would have told him?" I, I that's why I said I didn't want to get too much into. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but it was not weak. It yeah. was that, but I, but I yeah. gave him some things yeah. that I thought. Yeah, you yeah. know, but uh, um, <laughs> anyway, Yo, turn down that snare right there. No, yeah. no, take no. out those yeah. strings. Uh, <laughs> no, it was definitely absolutely none of that. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, man, like that's that's a just a whole nother level. But I hope I hope I hope yeah. you get in in Me there too. with that, man, because they're in there working. Yeah. What is um? Have you got? By the way, have you played him in tennis? Is he any good? Do I have something to worry I haven't about? Got to play him in tennis yet. He ain't got to play me in golf yet either, though. And I like golf. Oh, more. bro, see, see, stop it. Yeah. So I'm playing you in golf and you in tennis. Let's go. Yeah. There it is. Tennis is like there. It is. Yeah. Have you have you done Griffith Park, Wilson Harding? I haven't. Oh yeah, it's the oldest golf course in L.A., bro. Yeah. You, it's it nostalgic. Out. We ha yeah. that's where we're going. That's good. That's fire. Yeah, that's fine. And then. We can play tennis anywhere, anywhere, bro. Wherever you want. We can, we can play wherever, tennis anywhere. Wherever, wherever you want. Wow. Yeah. Mustard plays it. I'm really good. Uh, really? I'm, I'm really good. I'm not really good. No, like, yeah. I'm really good. I'm not really good, but yeah. I think I could beat you. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> like, in all honesty. I got to beat it for this one, man. In I'm all honesty. Me, man. I just took some of my friends. I was like, because I posted every day that I play every day. And I took some of my friends to the uh, tennis court today. And it looked good for you. I'm here. Do you? Do you? Let me ask you this. Do you? Are you one of those guys that brings friends that you know you can beat, or do you like bringing people that you you think they can beat you? A little bit of both. Okay. I bring, I, I bring my I, I brought my friends because you know you like I know you can. I respect you talking that. on Twitter and Instagram like you can beat me. <laughs> so I want you to come yeah. here and see this shit is real. I'm not gonna and lie. Then, yeah. it, it depends on the sport for me. If it's really? basketball. Most of the time, I'm just like, yeah, you're not that good. You can ball with us, yeah. uh, because man, on the court with ballers, man, I just I'm too old. To, nah, yeah. see, I'm, I'm a like Chris Brown. I'm, I'm not balling with C Breezy. Yeah, he's a little like he's like an one player. I'm not I'm not doing. He's so, like an so yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not guarding Breezy. Like I'll be I'll be on his team. Oh, yeah, I'm not have, guarding him though. For sure. Have you? Uh, and what got you into tennis? Uh, just one day you were like let's go nah, play me, let me guess you bought a house that had a tennis court and you were like I gotta learn now No, nah, I bought a house got a tennis court changed it to a basketball Ooh. court Ooh. and then a lot of people on my team like my manager and his wife and everybody was just playing tennis I don't That's know dope. how I got into it and then I went and I was like I play I play ping pong though I'm really 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 good at ping pong so I got a ping pong I'm sorry I, I think I think uh, when I first started playing tennis, I'm like, oh, this is a lot like ping pong. Yeah. So it was just like, except you got to you got to you got to run, run and get some exercise. Yeah, yeah and then I stopped going to like the actual gym to lift weights and stuff. So I really just go play tennis every single day. Okay, because I I think I I mean I know I burn more calories. Yeah. playing tennis, Good, bro. And for everybody out there who hasn't played tennis, yeah. do, do yourself a favor or don't do it. But yeah, you burn. You're just nonstop. Yeah. How did you get into golf? Uh, my mom's husband. Shout yeah. to ESPN, by the way. Shameless plug. Y'all yeah. could do other. Y'all could get into doing songs yeah, and tennis yeah. and golf now. Exactly. Um, did you grow up playing golf? I didn't. I just started. I probably oh, I been on the golf course up. like five, okay. six times. Oh, okay. But I tried golf. It was just natural for me. I can't get but angry. now, how many times have you played? More than no, five I'm or saying, six I've times. I've only been on a course like six times. Oh. I've been to Top Golf a lot of times before that. The one in Vegas before they moved out here. But I'm pretty. Now good. they got the one out there in Ontario, yeah. El Segundo. Go out there, get you, get you. The problem when I go with people, I celebrated a buddy, my buddy Juan's uh, birthday. Shout my boy Juan Franco. He's like, we're doing my birthday at Top Golf. I was the guy who showed up to play golf and drink. Everybody they is. showed up to drink and play, and play golf. golf. <laughs> um, 
And then somehow so you brought your own clubs and shit. To no, I'm not. I'm not that dude. <laughs> yeah, <we're... laughs> no, yeah. I bring my own clubs to the golf course. You have your own clubs. Yeah. And you've only played five times. Yeah. Did you play before you bought your own clubs? Nah. So you bought your clubs and then went and played. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could definitely beat you. Oh my <laughs> god. And I'm pretty sure I could beat you at times. Uh, I can't wait. Man. Um, and no. I can't wait to hear this album, man. And I, I could, we could, I, you know, we could talk all day. I got so many questions for y'all, even though. We go back like we do. I, I'm trying to think of something mm. that I can ask you guys that everybody wants to know. Um, oh, I know. What's some of the features on the album? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was going to be something serious. I mean, not that's not serious, but like I thought she was going to ask for something. Um, but, yeah, man, y'all, y'all got to come on. Uh, I haven't started shooting this show yet. Yeah, I'm down because I, I really want people yeah, to see I would that. love to be a part of that, too. No, yeah. And I hope y'all aren't just saying that because we, I'm serious. y'all my I'm dudes. Serious. No, I'm serious. Because let me tell you why I say that. When I had the idea to do this show, I was worried that producers and songwriters were going to shy away. And you guys are the perfect. Man, if I would have brought Why my laptop shy upstairs, away? I would have done that shit right now. No, but so, but it, but so that, I mean, the reason I, I'm, I'm nervous about it is because a lot, you know, a lot of producers and songwriters, they don't want people to quote unquote know their secrets. I don't have secrets. See, thank you. That's the same thing. It's like secrets. if I would have never gave him sounds, yeah. it's like, yeah, just because thank you, you see me do it, you're not going to be able to I'm, do I'm what I do. I'm the secret. I am the secret. Exactly. There you go. And I that's what I was saying earlier. You know, you could you can uh you know give somebody your trumpet, yeah. but they might they, they ain't, ain't gonna play, play it like you. Yeah. So so y'all don't think and y'all are the perfect P I'm glad we're here today. Yeah. You guys don't think that artists are gonna shy away from this? You think they're gonna be excited about showing people how they do it? I would love to show people. Me too. I hope I everybody's think, like y'all. I think y'all. everybody's not like us, but yeah, I would love I hope to. everybody's like y'all because I plan that's on taking this show. I just know they just know. need to see it. There's just so much that goes into it that they just think it's, you know. So, and part of the show is, and, and I'm shameless plugging right now, uh, and I'm trying to, you know, positively manifest it, <laughs> but it, the, the idea is to also showcase kind of like what's going on with the artists behind the scenes. Like, and, and, and a lot of these artists are artists I know. So, like yeah. with Ty... What we would do is like I know he's into he he got he got some cars, yeah. so I would take the six four right or six three six four six four. You still got it. I still got so it. So we would do like some behind the scenes, you know that kind of stuff. But I want to do things that a typical TV show hasn't done with Ty or hasn't done with Mustard. Yeah. And you know for you, yeah. we would do you know part of the show would be me winning on the tennis court. You and probably then, wouldn't win, but that would be a great part of the show. Him, him, <laughs> him leaving the golf course in his in his six four hitting switches sad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm I'm excited about sad. that. Um, one more time, the name of the album is. I know we already soon. said it. <laughs> the name soon, of the album. Damn, Damn it! Coming soon. Damn it. Make sure you check out that, my friends. It yeah. just dropped everywhere. All platforms is going right up right now. Sure, you don't want to say the name of the album. My friends featuring Ty and Lil Durk. Yo, I love y'all, man. Lil Durk. I love y'all. Seriously. I wish everybody was like you guys in so many ways. So many ways. Appreciate that, brother. Really. Y'all are the realest. Appreciate that. Um, Guys, go listen to my friends right now. Right now.